Lately, I've had a lot of you come up to me and been like, bro, I seen your post that you were working at the gym and that shit is inspiring. And first and foremost, I wanna say thank you. It's good to know, it's rewarding to know that my efforts, the work that I put into the gym is having a positive effect on you guys. But I had someone else today come up to me and be like, oh, I've seen you've been going hard at the gym lately. No, I've been going to the gym hard for like the past six-ish years. Like I stay going hard. I haven't dropped off. Like regardless, I put in the work. Just because I ain't posting doesn't mean I ain't working. Anyways, I want to try to get into the flow of posting my workouts because I see the effect it's having on this tribe, this social media thing. You know, it's like you guys are getting from it. So if I can push myself to deliver content that's going to push you guys, I'll bust my ass to make it happen. You know, so Anyways, I'll get into my workout today and I'm gonna try to get into my workouts in the future. So today's workout, I started with a 20 minute uh, jump rope session. Usually I stop, start off pretty mellow, like I'll get into the groove of things, plug in some music, EDM, mellow pace. And as I build up, as the music gets higher and higher, like more beat, like a higher frequency, better BPM, I'll start going at it. And yeah, like jump rope, if you've never tried it before and you like music, I totally recommend it. Cause you could go straight into a workout and it doesn't even feel like you're working out. Especially when you hit flow state, you're just going at it. After the jump rope session, I hit a squat session for eight sets of roughly six to eight reps. Medium weight, I wasn't going too heavy. I haven't been trying to go too heavy lately just cause I've been trying to cut. So my body isn't built to be lifting heavy lately. Uh, after the squat session, I was like, I don't want to do any more weight stuff, so I'm going to jump into a hit. I go to the green, and there's this guy using the same equipment that I'm trying to jump on. And I look at the dude, I'm like, eh, what, what are you working out on? What's your, what's your hit like? So he starts explaining it, and I was like, all right, Brody, you down to let me jump in on your hit with you? And he like looks at me all crazy-eyed, and he's like, oh, yeah, okay. So the hit goes as follows. We started with a farmer's walk. And then after the farmer's walk, we did a lunge and punch. It's different, never tried it before, but it does work. Um, we use lighter weights. The only thing I would have changed with this one is to use heavier weights. Uh, after the lunge and punch, we did tire pulls, which is really interesting. So instead of like flipping the tire, which I'm used to, you grab the tire and you pull it back. And that shit kills your hammies. I was feeling it. And then after the tire pulls, we jumped in some uh, Box jumps, that's what it was, box jumps. And that's where I really felt the tire pulls. Cause like I went to go do that first jump and it's an easy jump, it's not a big jump. And my legs immediately just like were about to give out. I was like, damn. But we did the entire hit set, 45 seconds each rotation, quick. So in between sets, it's like a three minute second just to move on in the next rotation. So we did a 45 second uh, farm's walk, three seconds in between a run and done, do the uh, 45 second lunge and punch. 45 seconds tire pulls, and then 45 seconds on the box jumps, and a 45 second break, and that was the workout. And we did three rotations of that, and yeah, that was it. Shit was tight, feeling it, feeling good, and still got more energy. I love you guys. Freaking go put in the work, get your ass in the gym.